this is going to be a slightly big hole. Welcome back to my channel. As the title suggests, this is a Primark Disney haul. I've been keeping this stuff back for about six weeks to two months sort of thing so that I had a big enough haul to show you. As you guys know, I'm not doing monthly hauls anymore because I just felt compelled to buy things. And I said, right, I'm going to stop my spending and then Primark brought out this amazing homeware range. This isn't the best time for me to film. I have a massive spot and there's a storm outside so you might not be able to hear me in places. But let's get on with everything I've bought from Primark so far in 2020. I'm going to start with my clothing items to get those out of the way. The first thing I got is a pair of Mickey and Minnie jogging bottoms so you've just got that there sadly there's no pockets but essentially these are just for traveling so these were 10 pound i got a 12 to 14 they do tie if they are too large for me but i highly doubt it they might actually be too tight i didn't try them but i bought a pair of these just for plane journeys and things like that i don't think i'll take them to disneyland paris but they are an option if i want to so £10 Mickey and Minnie jogging bottoms. The other item of clothing I bought is definitely for Disneyland Paris. As we are going in March, I'm going to leave my trip announcement up above. It's going to be quite cold, so I decided to buy a long pair of pyjamas to wear in the hotel room. As I usually take a blanket with me, but I don't think I'm going to take one this time. So I have opted for these Dumbo pyjamas. They have a cuffed bottom which I absolutely love in my pyjamas and obviously they're long sleeved. I love this distressed look on the shirt. I don't usually buy Dumbo things as it's not one of my favourite films, but I just really loved these pyjamas. I got a 10 to 12 in these and they were £12. So that was the top and the bottoms together. So you'll next see these when I'm packing for Disneyland Paris. Actually, at the time this video goes up, I go this week. Before I get on to what's inside the bag that you saw in the thumbnail, I will mention that I bought some of these items with a gift card I was given for Christmas. I did mention it in my What I Got For Christmas video, which I will leave another card for. But my Auntie Julie, Auntie Audrey and my cousins Jennifer and Catherine gave me a £30 Primark gift voucher, which has gone towards a lot of the items in this haul. So thank you so much for that and it is sort of an extension of my What I Got For Christmas, I guess. So next I'm going to go on to bags. I don't actually need any more bags but I bought this for Disneyland Paris just to be the bag I take with me so that if I do buy a lounge fly backpack I haven't got two to bring home. So Sully is not going with me on this trip. So I've bought this crossbody backpack. It just goes across one shoulder and it's got two zips. I thought it would be really good because we only have cabin luggage so you usually get away with a very small handbag as well as your suitcase so this will be what I use. I should be able to fit my toiletries in there because I try and put my toiletries separate to my suitcase so that I don't have to open my suitcase. So this will just have my toiletries, my phone, my purse, things like that in, the absolute essentials that I need to have with me so that we can just put our suitcase at the hotel and then head into Disney. So this was £10 and it's going to come in really handy on our Disneyland Paris trip. Obviously then if I do decide to buy a lounge fly backpack because that is one of the things I'd like to buy I can just put this in the suitcase no problem whereas if I took the Sully he might get a bit damaged in my suitcase so I'm taking this one instead. Then the other bag I got I've been after for a very long time. I haven't yet measured it to see whether it could be used as my toiletry bag. It probably can't but I've got the cosmetic bag bag that has mini and an L for Lizzie. It was only £3. If it doesn't fit the dimensions to use as my toiletry bag then I don't really mind. I do have plenty of cabin size toiletry bags that I can use and I will probably use this in my works bag or something like that which I need to show you at some point because it's very Disney. And then I bought some slippers. 
I got the red Minnie Mouse ones. Yes, I do match my car, but I don't drive in slippers. I got the women's size three to five and they were five pound. I just love these slipper boots that Primark do. This is my third pair of Disney slipper boots. And I think I'm actually going to keep these until my others actually need throwing away as I'm just using all of my slipper boots at once and they're all going to die at once. So I might keep these back, but I had to get them. Now onto some other things that I bought for Disneyland Paris. I've bought one for my mom and one for me. The one for my mom is the Mickey Mouse silicon straw. So you can see there that it's a regular silicon straw with a little Mickey topper. And these were three pound. And I've got the mini and again it was three pound so these are for Paris because I absolutely hate paper straws I was fine with them at first because they were better for the environment but as you are drinking through them they actually start disintegrating and I find that really gross so I thought we would take our own straws to Disneyland Paris and it's really cute that they come in these little carry pods as well so they will be perfect for my backpack I also need to film a what's in my parks bag video with that new bag. Then I've got some cosmetic-y type things. I bought some Winnie the Pooh hand warmers in the sale for £2, so they were only £1 each. You've got Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore. You basically just put them in the microwave when your hands are cold, just to warm yourself up in the morning. Obviously I probably won't need them for that much longer, but these are actually going to go to work. If I've just come back into the office and I'm really cold from being outside or something, then I will pop one of these in our microwave. So these were my bargain find from Primark. And then the other thing, I'm not sure how much I will use them but they are these three Minnie Mouse mini cleansing cloths. Obviously you can see they all have different patterns on. They're only £2.50 for three and basically you just add water and they act as makeup removers. Now I don't wear makeup but I have got concealer on this and every so often I will wear eyeliner. So these will come in really handy for removing those whenever I decide to wear them. And then finally we've got some home items. The first item I'm going to show you is actually my mom and dad so I just forgot to give it back to my mom. When we move house I do actually want to do like a full homeware haul because there's been a lot of things that we've bought for the new house that we've actually set aside and I don't want to show them to you until we're about to use them so I will film that in our new kitchen. But what my mum and dad got was this set of two Mr and Mrs mugs. I think they're really adorable. They were only £6 and these are going to be kept until we move and actually they go really nicely with the new plates my mum's just bought which I will show you when we are in our new house. As yet we still don't have a moving date but I am still packing things up anyway so I'm going to leave a card to the playlist I made about moving house so that you can see how I'm doing with that. Now onto the things I bought for me. I got this really cute home sign that has space for two tea lights. I'm actually going to save this for when me and Joe get a house. It was only £5 so I actually could have got two but I just wanted to get the one because this would be something that I would put on my fireplace so I don't think I need more than one. And then I actually got two of these, one for work and one for home and it's the Mickey Mouse canister. So. I guess most people are going to use this for tea, coffee and sugar. I'm going to use it for biscuits. It was only £6. Like I said, this one is for home and there's another one that is for work because me and my colleagues like to eat biscuits during the day so I will just put them in a cookie jar that we can all dip into whenever we're hungry and I just think the pattern is so lovely. So that is probably one of my favourite things I've bought this month. And then the final thing isn't for at home at all, this one is for work, so as soon as I have filmed this video I am taking my Mickey canister and this to work. I do want to show you my desk at some point but we are in the middle of an office move so I'll wait until we are all settled over there. So this is the Winnie the Pooh pen pot, it obviously looks like his honey pot. I do actually have a pen pot that my company gave me but I really wanted this because it's Disney and it's adorable. 
and it only cost £5 as well. It probably won't hold as much as the pen pot I'm using now, so I might have two on the go, but this one is definitely going to hold the things I use the most, like my pens and my highlighters and stuff. So that was my first Disney Primark haul of the year. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I decided to film it in February and show it to you in March because I can't see me buying a lot from Primark between February and March as I have my Disneyland Paris trip. There's going to be some bonus videos this week so please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and you've rung the bell so that you get a notification when these videos go up and my Disneyland Paris vlogs are coming very soon as well. Please make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it and comment down below telling me whether you've bought anything from Primark recently. I will see you on Thursday for a bonus video in honour of my dad's birthday. Have a wonderful day guys and I will see you there. Bye!